Yo, 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 mash the carrots, let's go. Uh, this is my short tutorial on how to use Google Classroom if you are a student, hence the wig. Uh, so, you will either get in, be invited to Google Classroom, in which case when you go to it, so it's uh, classroom.google.com, and it looks something similar to this, and you'll either have one that's straight in there. If you've used it before, like Eleanor very kindly has let me use hers so you can see this is what it looks like, and these are all the different classes that she's in. If you've been invited and you've not used it before, there'll be one on there for you to click straight on. If you haven't and you've just been given a code, you might be given the code by email or by letter or however the college decides to send you it or your teachers decide to send you it. Uh, what you're going to do is, or oh, let me use my uh, highlight function. <laughs> Check me out with that. You're going to click on the little plus up here and you're going to tap in a code. I've got my code ready for me, which is, it's not um, case sensitive. I don't think so. You should be fine just typing it in. Oh, hang on, it's S three F. Right, so that's the code I've just made for this for this little lesson uh, tutorial that I'm doing now. So you put that in, press join, and it will process and join you alongside. Now, Google Classroom allows your teachers to put lots of different stuff on there, put your work on there that you can complete. They can mark the work, give you feedback on it. Um, it's really, really good, really easy to use, and it works in conjunction with uh, Google Drive. Uh, so again, you can't lose your work on Google Drive. Everything's saved. You can work on different computers. Fantastic. So the first bit is the stream that you'll have uh, up here. So this is just a general bit that teachers can put stuff on. So for example, in this one, I very quickly, I've just dropped on uh, a link to a trailer. So I can click on that. Oh, a quiet place too. Uh, so you can, uh, teachers will put, resources on their links to whatever you need to be doing the next one which is the slightly more important one is your classwork so if i were to click on that i go through and you'll have a, a list of stuff that your teachers will be giving you and you can click on them to find out more information so unit 10 i've just dropped in a piece of work so I click on it uh, i can see the work there view assignment to so go in your teachers might have put more information than I've just done just for this quick demonstration. Um, and then you can access this work over here. So this will allow you to actually click on it. If it's a Google Doc, if it's a Word document, it'll still work in Google Drive. If it's a PowerPoint, it'll still work in Google Drive. Um, and then you can submit it back, which I'm going to show you in a second. So you can uh, you can click on the work and, and continue on it from there. You can also add a comment. So if you can't access it, if you're having problems with it, if you're unsure, you could drop a quick question in there for your teacher to help. Um, and then your teacher can put, put comments on as well, which you can see already that's supposed to be uh, once I've submitted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that document towards the right hand, uh, top right hand side. I click on it. It goes through into my Google Drive, ready for me to edit it. Okay, and then I could just say, for example, just pop my name in there. Because I am uh, David Easton. And I can do all my work, carry on, it's automatically saved, nothing to stress about. Then go back to Google Classroom. When I think it's good enough and think I've finished, I can click, turn it in. All right, we should put the click on as well. Yes. Click, turn it in. And it'll ask, do you definitely want to turn this in? Yes. So that's your teacher's way of knowing that you think that work is finished. When the teacher goes to access it, it'll show them which ones have not submitted and who has submitted. Hopefully, if there's a class of 20, it'll say 20 submitted, um, uh, none unsubmitted. Uh, and then what you can do is you can come back because your teacher's going to make a comment on it. Teacher now making comments. Uh, and you can go back in. When my teacher catches up with with the marking, when the teacher catches up with the with the with the marking, and uh, it's going well, it's going well, it's good. Yay! Very good. That was the comment that we wanted. Uh, you can also, if I move my face out of uh, the way, you can also add a private comment. So the comments that you write over on this side here. Everyone can see, so you might be having a comment with your, a conversation with your class colleagues about something on there. Keep it sensible. Down here, you might be something, you might be just, just like, look, I really don't understand what I'm doing. Is there any other resources you can give me to help with this? Um, you can then unsubmit. So if you wish to carry on working on it, you'll notice if you went back to that document, it doesn't work until you unsubmit it. OK, so it's completely locked off once it's submitted. See, that dead simple. You just click unsubmit, unsubmit, and then you can go back in. So say your teacher says you've done the first part great, but you need to improve the second part. You could then un 
sorry about the pause. You can press unsubmit and then you can carry on editing your work to make improvements and then obviously resubmit it when you think it's good enough. Um, if you want to go back to sort of checking your other classroom, because most teachers will have their own individual classrooms, over up here on the top left hand side, you can click on that and see all your other classes and click on them and access anything that the teachers have put in there. Okay. And then you can go back to just the main classes page and see all of them. One last little bit is that when you sign up to this and you're in, you've got a Google Classroom, you'll get email notifications every time a teacher drops something on there. If you download the app onto your phone, you can then have notifications on your phone as well so you can see stuff coming through. Uh, and obviously when you're on the app on the phone, you can check out your grades and feedback from your teacher, make comments, and you can even do the work on your phone, which is particularly great if you add the Google Drive apps uh, for Google Slides, Google Docs, and Google Drive. Uh, I hope that is helpful. Enjoy.